Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see the hands-on lab for Azure Batch Account Service. So to create the Azure Batch Account, let's you know log into the Azure portal and you can just navigate to all resources. And from here, you can just click on create and search for batch service. And then you can hit on create and here you need to specify uh, the subscription and uh, the resource group i'm just using the existing one and uh, you can mention the account name i'm just specifying azure batch account and uh, i'm going to choose the East US location and uh, next we need to select the storage account so I have the storage account you know created already in the same East US location so I'm just going to use the same one and uh, then I'm just going to click next and leave it with a default section and then review and create okay so the validation passed i'm just clicking create so let's wait for the deployment to be completed okay so the deployment is complete now we can just click on go to resource and from here you can choose uh, you know under features click on applications so for this exercise, I'm going to use one of the uh, MPAC uh, tool, you know, which, you know, used to convert uh, from the uh, video file into audio file and using this command line. And since it is a freeware, you know, you can just go ahead and download this one and uh, we can use this for our demo purpose. So next you can go back to the uh, Azure portal. And here you can just click on add and enter the uh, display name. So I'm just going to specify the application name MPAC. And you can choose, uh, you know, the version number. And uh, you need to select the application file. So just click on here and you can just go to the download. And I have the zip file. I'm just going to select that and click on submit. So this, uh, you know, zip file is uploading into the Azure uh, storage account that we have, you know, selected. Okay, so as we can see here, it has been uploaded and application usage one of 20. So next I'm going to the pools and uh, from here, let's just, you know, click on the add. And here let's, you know, provide the uh, pool ID. Okay, and uh, you can just uh, enter the uh, display name, which is optional. Okay, so I'll just uh, copy paste the same thing. And uh, under the operating system, here image type, we can choose marketplace. And the publisher going to be the Microsoft uh, Windows Server. And it's a Windows Server and you can choose the SKU. So I'm just uh, choosing 2019 data center. And disk encryption configuration, none. Okay, and uh, the VM size is going to be D2S V3, which is two vCPU and eight gig memory. And as we discussed in the previous uh, video, so there is a dedicated nodes and low priority nodes. I'm just going to, you know, 
put one for the dedicated nodes and uh, leave the other options default and just click on OK. And here uh, also we need to create the uh, virtual network so that uh, all these uh, you know VMs uh, within the pool will be using this virtual network. So let's create the virtual network. So you can just uh, create new and here you can type the virtual network name and leave the uh, default uh, RG1 resource group and leave the address space and the subnet default. Okay, so here you can select the virtual network that we just created and the subnet going to be the default okay and then you can just click on okay okay so we can see that the pool has been successfully created okay so let's just open this uh, pool and uh, if you go to the application package here uh, we have to choose the application package that we have uploaded it's going to be version 2.0 just click on save so we have created the pool and uh, then we go to the jobs so before that uh, let's just go to the um, the storage account and let's uh, upload the file so i'm going to the containers so let's just create a container name azure batch and click on create and i'm going to place the video file that I would like to convert into audio. So from here you can just click on upload and then you can select the file. Selecting um, MP4 file, you can just open it and click on upload. Okay, let's wait for the uh, upload. Okay, so this is completed. And next, let's go back to the Azure Batch account. And from here, you can just create a job. And uh, to select the pool. So this is the pool we created. So here, uh, like uh, once I select uh, this pool, it's not coming up anything because uh, we don't have, uh, since I'm using the free trial, it doesn't have any uh, available like a uh, slot. So if you can see that dedicated nodes, it shows zero. There is no current vCPU to deploy the uh, virtual machines in this pool. So that's the reason it is not working for me. But uh, if you have a you know available pool, let's for example, if you go to the batch account and go to the, I'm just looking for the quotas, okay? So if you go here and uh, if you look at the uh, vCPUs, uh, for me it shows everything zero. That means I don't have any available vCPU to deploy the VMs in this pool. So that's the reason it is not, uh, you know, creating um, VMs in this pool. So, but uh, in case if you have a proper, you know, subscription which uh, has the proper quotas, it will, you know, you can choose dedicated nodes as of one so that uh, the VM will be spin up and uh, we can, you know, deploy the application. After that, you should be able to create the job here and uh, you can select the pool. And once we created this job, you have to open that job and then you can, you know, create a task from where 
there will be option you can you know run this command to you know uh, convert the video into the audio file okay so once uh, it is you know completed then you should be uh, seeing the uh, the completed jobs or the completed file into your blob account that means the storage account in this place it will have created a new folder and within that folder you could see the audio file that is uh, you know extracted from this video file okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you